Hi guys, my name is Avneet and I'm interviewing RJ Padua, the owner of Fit Club. Okay, so for your business, how did you first get started? Well, first of all, thanks for having me and uh, interviewing me. I'm a St. John's alumni, graduate of 2000. My name is RJ Padua and I run Fit Club Winnipeg. So thanks for being here. My business started back in 2004. So I don't know how old most of you are, but 2004, I started as a personal trainer. 2006, I actually started my own business and it started just with an idea and a limitation. So the limitation was I was working at a company that was limiting the growth that I was able to do with the personal training business and the idea was that I could really open up a space and make it super fun that uh, a lot of people will get crazy good results and so the limiting belief brought me into my own world and like throughout the the times it's, there's been there's been struggles but there's also been a lot of good times all right what would you believe your strengths are to your business? My strengths in my business is my drive, right? So I'm always challenging myself. I'm always learning. One of my one of my things is I have to learn something new every single day. And so the strength was learning all the different elements of a business. All right. What about your weaknesses? My weaknesses, if I start negotiating with myself or if I have self-doubt, I would think that those would be the biggest weaknesses. And so the best way that I overcome those is by constantly challenging myself, learning new things, implementing them and staying consistent. All right. Do you see any opportunities that could provide a competitive advantage if leveraged properly? The opportunities is getting yourself involved in areas that you can see that are growing. And then you have to stay consistent and be a master at that. And it businesses and legacies are not built overnight they're built over time with consistent hard work and it may seem like your hard efforts and hard work aren't paying off but if you're doing the right thing and you can see yourself moving forward and you feel good about it then as long as you stay strong in it you're only going to get better and your competition is going to fall off all right would you say there's any threats that could damage your future for your business the biggest threats have already happened and the biggest threat to owning a business, especially when you're an in-person type of business, is getting shut down for any type of reason. And the fact that we had a uh, like a forced closure due to the pandemic, that really was the biggest kind of fear that any business owner would ever have. And uh, if it didn't get shut down based around the pandemic, it could have gotten shut down. You could have gotten a flood or maybe there was some type of permit that needed to get done and they shut you down for a couple months so uh the biggest fear to me was that and the honest best thing you could do is face your biggest fears and then realize what comes out of it and if you can survive through your biggest fear you can survive through anything all right um what would you say is something you wish you knew when you first started your business when i got into the business i went old school like youtube didn't exist uh, cell phones weren't as smart as they are now. And so for me, when I started, I think I did the best thing. I did a lot of mentorship programs. I learned from the best in the industry. Uh, I started off training hockey players. And so my, I started just locally branching with different trainers that were in the area. And I didn't have an ego, didn't have a pride. I was a personal trainer and I was working with guys that were personal trainers as well, but they've been in the industry longer than me, or maybe they were more successful than me. And I was just a, uh, either there as a volunteer or working for very minimal wage. And I worked my, my way up to working with uh, an NHL team for a short period of time. And that's kind of what really sparked my career. Nowadays, I would recommend anybody that is looking to accelerate in any industry that there's just so much resources at the at the palms of your hands you could research a topic and it takes you down a web of being a professional all right was there ever a time you wanted to give up i think there's always going to be the element of giving up uh, anytime that something new comes in there obviously new is hard and you know what they say though is what doesn't challenge you 
doesn't change you and so there's always going to be setbacks it's just like getting into a different element of your life so let's say you go from grade 10 to 11 or 11 to 12 there's always new stuff that you got to learn and you're like man i just learned that subject and now they're tacking on a new tougher subject and so this is something that i don't want to do so i'm just going to give up on it but the problem is if you make it mandatory you make it ne necessary that you do it and you keep evolving eventually the one step two step three step, I always say getting 1% better, they all add up to the right things. All right, um, last question. What were your visions from the beginning and are they the same now? My visions have always been the same. I love having a lot of people around me. I love making impact. And most importantly, I enjoy what I do. So fitness is just something that I've always been attracted to. It's one of the things that puts a smile on your face. I always say that you always feel better after a workout. And so whether that workout meant when I was first training athletes and doing hockey training or basketball training to now training more lifestyle clients that are looking to be in shape, feel good, look good. At the end of it, after every workout, you get that sigh of relief that man i did it i feel great all right that was awesome thank you rj padua for answering my questions and thank you guys for watching the interview